Has this happened to you? You on the gateway ship, you get your drink, you load into Las Vegas, and you see this, a ride of pad. And you're like, oh, I gotta ride it. Holy shit. Anyways, hello my fellow ArcSops. PSO God here with the basic movement video about the Rideroid. If you ever tried the Rideroid quest or tried the Rideroid in Las Vegas Expedition, the speed might have caught you off guard. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, once you interact with the Rideroid pad, you will then be mounted on the machine. Again, it will take off with you in high speed. So for the controllers, which mine is the Xbox controller, Hold down X to stop its movement, and for mouse and keyboard, hold down the left click on the mouse. For camera movement, your mouse will be used to look around. And for controllers, use the right analog stick. For the main movement for the Rideroid, WASD on the keyboard is to move the Rideroid, and with the controller, it is the left analog stick. To have the Rideroid back in motion, simply release the corresponding button, X or the left click button on the mouse. During the Las Vegas Expedition or the Rideroid quest, you only have a few actions tied to the main palette that can be used. Start and stop the Rideroid movement, on mounting the Rideroid, and while holding shift and pressing the left click, Xbox is the left trigger and the X, will perform a 180 degree turn. To use evasive quick maneuvers, use the corresponding movement input and press the spacebar, or in my case, I press A on the Xbox controller. For example, holding left and press A would dash you to the left, holding right and press A would dash you to the right, up and press A for up, and down and press A for down. Please note that each time you perform an evasive maneuver, this will consume photon points. To replenish your pet pad, simply halt the Rideroid movement and it will regenerate over time. Or just simply dismount the machine and get a whole new one, whatever floats your boat. Now, if your Rideroid has taken damage, you can easily replenish the HP by flying through green rings. This ring gate thingy here, yep, I don't know the name to these, but flying through this sends you to the next spot of the building, and it also regens your Pepe. Now, most players have probably figured out the mechanics on how to operate the Rideroid, but this video is just as helpful and doesn't take much of your time. Speaking of time, the urgent quest of the Lunar Phantasm Matriarch, which is literally around the corner, and the first phase is based around the Rideroid. So get your practice in with this Rideroid. You will have a few sub palette actions that can be used during that time frame, but that's for another day. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully that you find this helpful, and if it was, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below if I missed anything. Until then, my fellow ArcSops, take care.